There we go. I got it. We're got live. It? We're live. We're live. There, there we go. So we're, we're live. We, we can talk about some trivia and... Uh, yeah, my, my trivia team just won uh, tonight, by the way. And if, if you ever wondered why we come on like slightly after 10, it's because I'm playing trivia until like 9.45. Yeah, it's usually my and I got right amazing on. garbage. So, so the question is, Christian, have you ever, uh, have, have you ever gotten like a speeding ticket, like going home from? No. The the distance from my house to the bar is very little, so there's not a high chance that that would happen. It's like a four minute drive if I get all the lights right. <laughs> So, so Randall, uh, Randall, Anna, or Anna, Randall wants to know if you're dead or if you're alive today, tonight. I'm functional. It's like, I use up most of my energy to teach, but I've got a little left. But you're here, so you didn't die from it, so that's good. Yes, no, I, I mean, I talked in front of people for three hours while not feeling great, which is a little exhausting. However, I still seem to be fine. Just, we'll, we'll wait till I feel up how I, okay, I'm a little out of it. We'll wait till how I feel up Thursday. You'll make it. After I've done this and taught two more classes. Hey, at least it was a short week, right? I mean, you, you had yesterday off. Totally don't teach on Mondays, so it didn't help. Oh, well, eh. And so my students demanded we have a meeting anyway, even though it was a holiday. Rude. Rude. You just tell them, right, so, nope. So you can be rude. You should get started, right? So, yeah. So uh, the, the whole reason that uh, we needed to have a show tonight is because Anna wanted to do another one of her, like, Legends figures. So, yeah, because I'm the only one of this group who collects good toys now. I had to rush home for Legends figures. You did. You did. You had to... Rush home for a Legends unboxing because I haven't opened this one yet. Wow. I, I do like right? and, and I do I do like the fact that like for for this mold that you haven't even gotten the two normal molds of this. Like oh, no. you have to actually get the the crazy stuff. I actually have the normal molds are dumb. I was gonna say what well, they're they, not. They're also very good. What do they do with? I actually have the regular iron head, but I don't know where I did with it. What did I do with it? Oh, yeah, I'm going to mute myself so I can open this without making box sounds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. So, yeah, so you start have to start asking yourself, you're like, what's the difference between Ash My Wallet and Microcasters, right? It's like, oh, we do live work. unboxings on both and, you know. Well, I think Ouch is getting preempted tomorrow, right? And was that the plan? Uh, that is the plan. So I'm I'm very excited for tomorrow night, and we need to actually promote it uh, because a couple of the guys in the group are getting Masterpiece uh, Optimus Prime MP44. So um, I, I want to live vicariously through them because although I am absolutely crazy and buy way too much stuff, I have a line, and my line was MP44. So I, I am not getting it, but a couple uh, – Robert and Paul, and then I don't know. Peter, I think, is going through a hurricane or something, and Jason too. So, and and they're like 100% safe, like and all that. But I guess that you know, like deliveries stop during hurricanes and stuff. So, dang it. Oh yeah, and then MP10G. Actually, Ron was asking about that. Um, What's so up? Christian, I think, is the only one out of the group to actually secure one. So oh, you're being all nice earlier. Now you're bragging. A jerk. I'm sorry. I'm just excited about it. I've been looking forward to it for weeks. I tried to get it, but I was not fast enough on the quick draw. Two fair <laughs> has was fault. They said it would go live at noon. It went live at 11.57. It was up for less than a minute. Yeah, it was great. I'm, I was on the phone with Anna the as my went through, and hers got taken out of her cart. I probably took yours from you, so you just blame me. I, I have more money 
to buy ridiculous crap like this thing, right? So, yes, I'm Randall, sure. I did get MP10G. Is there, was there something else with that? Uh, I, no, but I, I was just, uh, I, I'm very happy that you actually got it, Christian, because I feel like that you are the most altruistic, like, you're actually getting it because you really want it. Like, I think that, I do. like, Anna and I both kind of wanted it, but, like, not really, and then, I, I don't know, Paul, like, if, what what his intentions were with his copy. He, I think he actually collects all the MP primes, too. Mm-hmm. So, I, I feel bad he couldn't get it, but... You know, I want a version of MP10 because I got rid of my regular one. I just want the mold for like, you know, mold's sake. But it doesn't have to be the Ghostbusters one. It could be pretty much anything. You should, you should go get back and get the one. gaudy gold, gold one. one. Yeah, that one. I like that one. You had that could. one once upon a time. I did too. I had oh, it. yeah. The, the horse. Nah, I like horse one. If I was to get one, it's either going to be the cheap shattered glass one or one of the underscaled ones, because I think that's kind of oh, neat no. to do from a Voyager. It looks, like a one. it looks like a trophy. It does look like a trophy. Isn't it, it really it's expensive? Uh, it's like 120, not even okay. more than the others. Yeah. Which one? The Golden Lagoon one, the gold chrome one. Hmm. It's nice. I, I have it like as a centerpiece on one of my dead offs. It, it's nice. It, it, it's cool. It's like a unique, you know, if you just had one, it would be a good one to have. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. You know what? Good. We should do that um, another time. We should actually have a special microcasters where we have everyone pick out their favorite MP10 mold. <laughs> and and may, maybe when Anna and I actually like rebuy it, because I'm in the same boat as, as Anna, because I've, I've had the shattered glass one. I sold that. I had the horse one. You're the horse. I sold that. I had the regular one. I sold that. I, I was debating like my game. Me. Yeah, I think I've sold mine. No, I didn't sell the horse one. So yeah, yeah. He sold the regular one to me, which I sold to someone at Expo who immediately sold it. So, you know, that thing's been around. <laughs> which one, the regular one or the horsey one? The regular one. Horse really? dumb. I, I, sold the horse like... one. I also sold the horse one on eBay, I think. Anyway, we should talk about what we're here to talk about, oh. which is the fantasticness. Yeah, you did your unboxing. Now you've got it. Talk about it. That's right. That's all right. Taxi. So See, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Was, I thought the top of the taxi <laughs> was going to be a different color. Like, I didn't realize it was going to be yellow, too. Yeah, it looks okay. So uh, I'm going to be completely honest. Like, if this is specifically a reference to any, like, version or character or anything, I honestly don't know. Just as soon as I saw Taxi Van, I had to have that version of the mold because it amuses me. I don't like, it's think really it's a reference. Fun. You can ask Peter for confirmation, but... I will. I will. I'll ask around. And maybe one of our viewers will be like, Anna, that's obviously a reference to blah, 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 blah. The, the Cash cap ration, it, obviously. It, it, is a universe to Minicon named Overcharge. He was a taxi. Perfect. But he was a car, so. Well, this is the taxi version. You can see that he is decked out in taxi. He has taxi on top. He has his price label thing on the side. And it's basically just a yellow version of the van. Oh, wow. these are the New Age van characters, by the way, for those listening in audio or um, for those who just didn't know what they were. Um, New Age has already put out how many versions of this mold? Because it's been oh out gosh. for like a month only. Yeah, it's been out for a month. So, of course, they have like five. They have the black version that you have, too, right? Yeah. Black they Ironhide. Have, they have the uh, Ratchet. They have Ironhide. And... The yellow cab, so that's four, and then they is that the, only four? They the clears yet? I think there's even clears. There, there will be clears, but I don't think they have them yet. So I think that okay. that's all they have right now. So yes. So I'm kind of showing. I, I'm like starting to transform mine. So my ratchet. Um, like with one hand. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very intricate. 
Well, I was going to say, the paint on the Ratchet is actually really nice. I'm assuming the taxi cab one, is that pretty cool, too? Or Yeah, it's, it's fine. It looks good. It is... It is exactly what you would want it to be. I like it quite a lot for the way it looks. I just opened it, so I haven't had time to um, do that thing with it. Oh, transform it. The, the thing. So, the thing. so the, thing. the thing the thing you're doing a little bit different uh, with these new age guys is you're specifically collecting new age to collect the like weird stuff right yes i am trying to i've decided to get rid because i got the prowl and the jazz when they first came out i've decided to ditch both of them and only have weird characters weird repaints from new age because i like all their weird stuff so i have like the pathfinder version of cosmos Mm. i have the um the bug bite version of the bumblebee and now i have the Diaclonish, Ironhide, and the Taxi Ratchet. Taxi Ratchet. It's fantastic. It's great. So, so, so yeah. when these people are asking themselves, right, like, why are they repainting this thing five times? Like, what are they doing? We have the answer, and the answer oh. is, is because we know that Anna will buy it. They're a PZV, because I'm not going to buy the normal versions. I don't want no tiny little iron hide from New Age. I'll wait till Magic Square makes it better. Oh, God, I just dropped. Um, wow. Anyway, Spiders. just not like what I think is actually really cool about this, that is like probably the bane of everyone else's existence, is that, oh, let me reach back. Who do I have back here? Where's Prime? Oh, he's so far away. <laughs> Stretch, you can do it. Alright. So, like, you know, here's Magic Squares Prime, right? He's he's decently big for a Legends figure. He's not huge. And then... It's pretty tiny. So, these like vans fold up into tidy, tiny vans. Like, it is a very small toy. It is itty-bitty. But on, like, the tiny bumblebee, it has rolling wheels. It has a good deco, it looks good, it's fine. It's just really small, which is gonna drive a lot of people crazy because it's not gonna be in the scale with anything pretty much. Um but well, yeah, it's well scale together. with itself, like I mean, I think that if you're going for like they're doing their own scale. So yeah. I mean, you just have to be on board with that. Yeah, you do. So as far as, you know, the figure goes, um, Lucas is doing the transformation right now. It's uh, it's definitely not simple. Like, this is not a, this is not like the, um, what is it, Hot Soldiers that did a ratchet? Or, yeah, oh, yeah, I think. Theirs is very simple. Um, there have been some simple ratchet figures. This is not one of them. This is, like, not quite the complexity of the MP figure, but it's really close to being equally complex. In fact, I think the legs are a little bit nicer. Um, but I, I think, though, at the same time, it's it's pretty intuitive. Like, it is. Like, there's not, there's not something, intuitive. like, I mean, that that's the thing is I feel like, I don't know, to me, all of the New Age figures, like, they make sense. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like, the old, like, I don't know, I, I feel like the New Age is, is kind of like the old Masterpiece figures, where it's like a fun, intuitive transformation. Don't um, say that to me. <laughs> Uh-oh. They are that fun and intuitive. Is, is that what's going to get you, Christian? I love old MP figures. Yeah, they're fun, intuitive, they're clean. Um, they're honestly, like, they're not, like, the fastest things to transform. Like, you can see Lucas has been at it for, like, five, ten minutes now. It'll take him a little bit to do it. But they're, that's just because they're there's a lot of steps, not because it's, like, finicky or hard or you're going to break it or anything. And they're perfectly fine. They're just complicated in a good way. Right. Which, most of the time, I complain about complex figures, right? Like, I don't really like high I complexity like in my either. toys. Huh? That's a- I don't like complex figures either. You do not have that same criticism for uh, Beast Wars Megatron masterpiece. Yes. Yeah, unnecessarily complicated with the folding. Yep. Um, I feel similar to Dinobot, but I like them both, so I've kept them. 
Mm-hmm. But anyway, yeah, the transformation is relatively intuitive. Um, one cool thing that New Age is doing. Uh, I lost it. I lost my everything, my brains. Okay, great. Um, one thing they're doing is that they're giving you multiple hands. That's cool. And weapons when needed. So you can give them, like, open hands or um, pointing hands, and they come with the, like, fist holding a gun hands. So you, you have sled? options, which is pretty cool. Huh? Do they come with a sled like the Masterpiece figures do? They do not. They do okay. not. They're all they're all in one transformations, and they don't come with an extra sled either. So and the, and I think the trouble it's weird what I do. With most of, like, uh, all the New Age figures most of them don't have a way to store the weapons in alt mode. And so that's yeah. the thing that annoys the crap out of me. Cause like all of these weapons are tiny. So they are. I, I, I wish that they gave us a sled. That would be kind yeah, of, you've, nice. you've mentioned that every time we've done a new age figure, you'd think that they would uh, take some feedback, not our feedback necessarily, but feedback in general and uh, work on that. I know the Insecticons were a little bit better, but yeah, uh, they were with these guys. Yeah, I know. These guys don't really... I don't think they have a place to put them. I haven't really... Like I said, I just opened the cab, and I play with Ironhide extensively as a as a toy, but not really like transforming them back and, back, back and forth. They just really, really like this figure. Um, which is weird, right? Because I don't like either of the New Age Carbots that have come out, Prowl or Jazz. I don't enjoy either of them like they're both nice they're intuitive transformations they're really complex for the size they do something neat they don't appeal to me aesthetically or to play with afterwards they're just meh but this which i remember lucas was initially not impressed with just really impressed with the way it looks the way it feels the way it plays it's just really good so um, uh the figure has grown on me since, uh, oh, I know it has. So, like, I think that the things that kind of annoy me about the figure just in general, right, <laughs> is, and, and I realize, like, what are you going to do? But, like, it there's all kinds of, like, pinholes, right, like, on the front of the figure um, from, like, just the, the pins of the figure, right? And, I mean, it's like there's so many parts on this figure. It's like, I mean, like, what, what are they going to do? I guess they could have painted the pins, but that probably would have cost them quite a bit more money to, to go ahead and do that. So, like, that's one thing I don't like. Um, another thing is is that um, he's somewhat back-heavy, um, and I don't know. I had trouble in the beginning. I, I don't have as much trouble now with balancing him and having him not fall over, but in the like, it took me a while to kind of get used to it, mm. to to get it to to do right and then also like the chest uh of the figure doesn't like lock in like it's just kind of like there and so that kind of so so it's kind of like all those things kind of annoyed me a little bit to whereas i feel like the car bots uh from new age like at the beginning it was kind of like oh this is magic and like that stuff didn't bother me as much in the in the beginning and then it's kind of like the opposite where the shine is kind of worn off a little bit on the car bots and then i kind of enjoyed the the ratchet figure more but i mean it's still it's a fantastic figure i mean it's it's crazy that um you know such a small figure you know that they pack so much engineering and, and all that i mean i don't know i feel like i'm a broken record whenever i like oh yeah i'm talking about these guys because they literally all you know, it's 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 crazy what they do. And I, like, managed to lose the hand. My one problem with this mold is, as you can see, it Ooh. is quite see-through on the sides, right? So if you have his arms in a normal orientation, it usually covers it. And from front, you can't tell at all. But from the side, he does have a big chasm um, where the inside of his chest could go. Hey, that's easy enough to ignore, honestly. Like, you don't see it. With his arms out, you don't really notice it. Oh. Yeah. But if you <clears throat> antipose it, then... If you antipose it, you might be able to see it. But there's a lot of poses I put it in where you can't see it. So it's it's really okay. 
Like, that doesn't bother me for some reason. I don't know. Like, I guess I'm, like, too happy with this figure because I feel like I should be criticizing it more because it criticized the heck out of all of New Age's figures except for the Bumblebee because that's a, like, amazing, amazing tiny toy. Um, but this one is just, like, I'm super happy with it. It's extremely articulated. It's, um, like, I don't think... One thing is that I'm actually really happy with MP Ratchet only after I upgraded him with the Shadow Fisher. I think without the Shadow Fisher, this is actually a better figure aesthetically and posing wise, especially posing wise. I and mean, part of that's just the lightness of these tiny guys, right? They pose really well. Yeah. Um, but but I mean, just I think that that's the thing. It. The thing overall is, is that all of these figures remind me a lot of the masterpiece figures and yeah. they're they're tiny so like i mean that's the thing that's kind of kind of neat about these is that you get a lot uh, a similar level of engineering to the masterpiece you get a similar look to the masterpiece but instead of it being you know what the ratchet was a hundred bucks like and then you know this yeah. is what 30 i think yeah, I about 35 32. or so it depends. And so I think the other thing, too, about these new age figures is, is that um, and Magic Square is the same way, is that, like, if you buy these things, like, from someone in China and on, you know, eBay or wherever, like, you can get them super cheap, like, or, you know, whatever. Like, you can get them for, like, 30 bucks. Whereas if you go buy them at, like, the Chosen Prime or something, then they're, like, 40. And so, like... To me, I feel like that ten dollars is a, a big difference, and like, and it it really adds up. Like, I mean, if you get ten figures, there's a hundred bucks right there of, of of difference, and so, um, I, I I feel like that, you know, depending on the price, it's like if it's a thirty dollar figure, you're more lenient on it than if it's a forty dollar figure. Yeah, I agree. I just. I don't know. At this point, I feel better about spending that much money on these guys than I do about spending the money on MP, but that's all personal preference. Like, honestly, whether or not you collect Legends or whether or not you like MP better, this is just a good toy, right? Like, I can admit that new MP figures are sometimes good. Everybody should be able to admit that this is also quite good, um, pretty objectively, if you're into Transformers at all. It's pretty good. Um, I will say that is it's important to me for a figure to have ankle tilt, and not only does he have ankle tilt, his toe also articulates separately, so you can wow. get a little more posing out of it. So it's really good for as Christian calls them anaposes, where I try to make them do things that are really hard for plastic toys to balance in, but look cool in action movies, um, type of stuff, and dancing and anything else I feel like making them do. Um, so yeah, he's got really good articulation, multiple hands. I think the Iron Hide only came with one gun. The Rasha comes with two. So uh, it's a good yeah, set. Yeah, because in that movie scene. Right, right. Um, the one thing <laughs> I do want to say is that I think the deco on this um, pseudo diaclone Iron Hide is really, really cool. Right, like I really like the gold windows. I really like the details. He actually looks really nice as a van too. The one thing that drives me absolutely crazy is that all over the box there are pictures of like drawings of him and pictures of a toy. They all show him with red eyes. Every single picture. But the real figure has blue eyes. I don't know what's up with that. It's so strange to me. I looked through my box and I couldn't find an extra head or anything. It's weird. I don't know what happened there. But otherwise, the deco I think is fantastic. And the red and black always look good together. I would definitely take that deco on the Siege figure. Eh. This is way cooler than the Siege figure. Siege Ironhide's got nothing on this. They what cost like half as much. What are you talking about? Siege Ironhide? Siege. I don't even really like that figure that much. It's okay. Oh, uh, he is... Siege Ironhide is going to be mad at you now. Uh, he's great. Gonna, he's going to crush Ratchet with his like, hammer here. 
go. There's two in my house right now. Maybe a little cup for me in my sleep. So yeah. Good. I don't know. I mean, I really like the siege, the siege figure, but I mean, whatever. I mean, this is less hollow. Well, I don't know. They're both. This is less well, hollow. It has more parts and complexity. Do they both need you to shove something in the chest to block the hollowness, honestly. Because the siege figure has that big open um, area, and then this one has the hole through the middle. So yeah, first first interesting, first well, interesting is the problems that the Masterpiece figure has. It did do the chest very well. It yeah. did. I just it's think It's hard those, to do with, with the angle from the vehicle mode and everything. It's hard to do. Those hip panels, though, just killed it for me until I got upgraded. I, I, I so will say good. the uh, the the ratchet or whatever doesn't have panels falling off like the iron hide the siege iron hide so that's true. No, these are really stable. Like I haven't had a complaint yet with New Age's um, builds. Their builds are really good. And honestly, this day and age, there's so many photos up for any new figure. You can just go and look at all the different angles and decide if you like how it looks. And if you do, you're really safe with New Age. Stuff seems to be really solid. Yeah, I and mean, this build in particular, I think everyone should buy a taxi. I <laughs> I think that that is that is the one thing I feel like in general is is that the tolerances on most of the new age figures, the plastic, the paint, like I think that, like to me, I feel like that they're kind of the complete package. Like to me, I I think that Magic Square is a little hit and miss. And then Iron Factory, like, they usually do really good paint, but then their tolerances are pretty tight and, and whatever. So, I, yeah, like, I think that if, if you're just talking just on quality alone, I think New Age does a fantastic job. I can't disagree with that. Most, you know, I guess nine times out of ten would be incorrect, but two times out of three, I prefer the way Magic Square figures look and play. But I definitely beat them up more. You know, I've noticed more, like, looseness and whatnot from messing with them. Um, I honestly have a lot of trouble transforming this guy without having things come apart in places and not just the smokestacks. Is that um, the Magic Square Optimus? Yeah, it's the Magic Square Optimus. He's just, he's got a great look. As I said before, he's very cartoon model. Like, I think is what Magic Square really does well as cartoon model, where New Age does tiny, tiny masterpiece figures, but the old style masterpiece. Um, but yeah, I have had more trouble with like, kind of, I don't know, the build not being perfect in Magic Square. I still like the figures more. I just think that if you like what these look like, they're really great. Yeah. <laughs> I think but that's I, pretty I, much what you need to say for this figure, I say, right? I was just going to say, just in general, like, I feel like that all of the legends companies I feel like are kind of going into their own niche where, yeah. you know, the iron factory, like they're their own thing. And I think for a while it seemed like you could kind of mix and match magic square and, and uh, new age. But I, I kind of feel like new age now, like it seems like a lot of them are doing the same figures, um, but then they're doing a slightly different scale. So to me, it, it does kind of seem like that it's like, you know, you're probably going to want to pick a lane, you know, and, and stay in it. Or you can do like what Anna's doing and you, you know, pick Magic Square for the main guys and then pick New Age for the cr crazy repaint. Because one thing that's guaranteed is, is that New Age is going to repaint all of their figures like five times. They are. And they're going to put out at least one weird thing. Like for the vans, you have the taxi and the diaclone. For the Bumblebees, you have the Bug Bite. For the Cosmoses, you have the Pathfinder. And then for um, what weird one came with Prowl? Has Prowl had a weird one? Barricade, right? Barricade. Yeah. Um, and then the Jazz has the Shockwave, the Alternator Shockwave version. And G2. Is just, and what? And G2. Yeah. That's not crazy, though. That's like a pretty yeah. normal thing to do. Making a jazz figure into an alternator shockwave, though, that was super weird. And it's happened twice before. I think I want that version for jazz, though. Like, I think I'm going to get rid of the jazz figure and get the alternator shockwave and then get rid of the prowl and maybe get the barricade. Yay, alternators. Fun. 
So <laughs> Mike uh, mentioned the the mech fan still. That's an important thing to say. Is that these guys do not look good with mech fan toys at all. His mech fan toys is Legends Plus, and these guys are like Legends half minus. Minus. Mm. So yeah, they they mix really weird. Um, I guess like if you had, because like I was looking at some of Lucas's old MFT stuff the other day. If you had like Six Shot and Overlord and other guys that are just you know ambiguously huge bad guy figures, putting a absolutely enormous Overlord with figures this size would be kind of neat in a way. Um, but otherwise, it would look weird. Like, you couldn't put this with a Papa Toys um, hot rod. You couldn't put this with um, the MFT basic figures or their hound that people seem to really like. And they look okay with Iron Factory stuff. <clears throat> it isn't huge. So they look okay with them. So it, it looks like uh, Paul joined us late. So we he missed all our talk about MP44 and... Uh, MP10G. So we were talking about how yes. Christian got his MP10G, Paul. So there you I go. I did. Very excited. And how we didn't, Paul. It's okay. Yeah. You have a. We should join a, you a comrade. A group. You know, we, we, we should have a group to complain about that. You guys have another like shot with every group? Yeah, so we get another shot with all the drugs of society who also get a shot. Yeah. Plebs. Non premium people. R- riff raff. <laughs> yes. Steerage. Whatever you want to call yourselves. No, it's like, I kind of think. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about cool things. These are cooler. So, so yeah, so I guess uh, o- overall, uh, I'm guessing we're saying this is a buy, right? Another, another home run for, uh, for, for New Age. They're the best. Legends Company, Anna? No. I think this is their second good figure. I think their first good figure was Bumblebee. And then the Jazz and Prowl are fine as long as you like ugly things. And the um, the Cosmos is pretty good. I'll give that one a good, too. Cosmo, Cosmos is better. Yeah, no, their second good mold was the Prowl mold. Their third good mold was their uh, blue streak. Their fourth good mold was... Those are different. <laughs> well, I guess they're the same mold, but, you know, hey, figure. No, the Prowl of the Jazz uh, are definitely going to be... The Jazz is a, is, is a goddamn masterpiece. I mean, it's... It, you know, it's pretty this, this is in reality what you say Jazz is. This is as impressive as your delusions tell you the Jazz is. Jazz is nuts. It's I mean, impressive. This, this, is but... not, this is nuts too. Like, I mean, this is crazy. It's it's crazy the articulation and the engineering that goes in has gone into all these. But it's not ugly. It's pretty. Or is jazz ugly? So, you're you're gonna no, like I'm eventually kidding. convince me to keep all this shit. The jazz is pretty good. I think the jazz is pretty good. Um. It's just, I think that a lot of other jazzes look better. Like, I'm trying to get back to one for character. Gosh darn it. So I decided that I wanted the Iron Factory jazz instead to be my one jazz. Because I think that figure is amazing. <laughs> um, so I have to get rid of my new age. But I will probably get the Shockwave as a excuse to own the mold. So, so Anna, scared. what I love about your rules, right? And so you're like, all right, one per character. They break them constantly. One, no, no, but you're, you're like one per character. So instead of getting like Ratchet or Ironhide or whatever, you're like, taxi guy. All right, I don't have a taxi guy in my collection. So one per character, I got to get this weird something that is not representative of okay. anything. Just you're so like, you know. If, assault rifle guy. If some Let's, company, uh, assault rifle guy. If some have... company, <laughs> if some company had taken the G1 ratchet mold and recasted it out of tin foil and made it into a taxi van, I would have bought it. <laughs> the idea of a taxi van transformer is awesome, and I had to have it. So yeah, it's weird. But whatever. I don't care. So weird. So Stop weird. Bad. Bad thoughts. Those are cool. Those are cool. 
and, and now you get to robots. Yeah, I don't know how you turn into sound wave every time. Yeah. Oh, did I? I just yeah. said these are weird in the bot bots. My fascination with weird. Oh, they're, we- they're weirder than bot bots? I don't know. No weirder. No weirder. Oh, the no same weird. weird. Yeah, the same weird. Uh, oh, by the way, are we going to have to do another bot bot show where you just like, like Christian, at this point, are you just going to start dumping piles of bot bots on the table and be like, here, here's mm-hmm. your bot bot? Yeah, I'm about halfway through series three. So. Perfect. But, as I told you guys the other day, I found finally found a bot bot I did not like. Oh, yeah, you did. <coughs> when I'm we get like to our bot bot show. I was like all of them up until now. Ooh, when we get to our bot bot show, you can ritualistically kill it. I can't be a good show. I don't have them all, but yes. I know you do. That makes it funnier. I could never ritualistically kill a toy either. Have I ever? Yes, I have, actually. See, see, this is the thing. It's like we, we were complaining about this the other day because uh, the uh, who is it that's coming out that I was complaining about the Siege um, uh, Impactor? Because, like, yeah. the, the one on the Amazon set looks cooler, and that's the one I really want. But I'm getting the regular release because I'm, I have to get them all. And Just don't. I, I, I can't not, though. You, you can. I'm not. Okay. I'm not doing it. How about that bot bot that you have there? Like, listen, listen, guy. It's not the same figure. It's a new mold. The impactor that's in general release and the impactor that's in Amazon look almost exactly the same. You don't have to have both. You don't have to have both. I'm t- you, I'm you however, have to have both of these. I, I'm supposed to get one of them on Thursday, but I don't think it's happening. Oh yeah, my Mirage is coming tomorrow. 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 I don't think it's, it's on the ship happen. yet. I need to just it cancel them because I don't want those figures. Screw them. Wow. 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 Well, okay. So I, I don't have any attachment to Impactor, as we discussed, so I don't need it. You just read Sins of the that. Records. Just read Last Stand. You just read Last Stand of the Records. And, and, and I read the first it. 15 pages of Last Stand of the Records that I had to go potty and I forgot. You're not even in the first 15 pages. Did you, have you read Target? Did, did you read Target 2006? No, that's in the other room. I was trying to walk all the way over there. Oh. The guys are trying to get me to read Records stuff. They're like very convinced that that's what needs to happen um and i probably will in the next week or so i also have this whole like teaching thing i have to do oh so joe in the chat was mentioning about both versions of reflector being worth it and i 100 so percent agree like i don't have the toy version yet because it's like not out in the u.s but like it looks really cool so i yeah, i exactly. will agree with that and it's different enough that like Pulse seems to indicate that they're shipping this week, maybe? Yeah, I've heard. I I don't know. In pictures, I'm a little disappointed with the Toy Colors one. I just It doesn't look how I wanted it to exactly, but I'm so excited to get a Toy Colors version, mm. so it's pretty cool. Uh, what am I reading? Oh, I'm me reading comics. Okay, I was worried that... Someone else had picked up on my dialects like Christian has. Do are we are we gonna go back and do another uh, show? Because like we did the first four four issues of the uh, of yeah we the need new to. comic right and like the only way I'm gonna read this comic is if we actually do a show reviewing it because like I don't like this comic and I I'm waiting for all of them to become two dollar back issues so I have to spend less money to get it yeah and if you buy them on my account I will read them but otherwise I'm i'll read them i want to i just i mean i do the same thing with all comics and manga i read i wait for a lot of it to come out and then i get it i don't like to buy i don't like to buy every issue and read it that week because then i go crazy because it's like 20 pages and then i'm like where does the story go next so i prefer to just read a big chunk wait 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 hang on let me let me take your words there and use them against you you just said you read the first 15 pages of Wreckers and stopped and didn't see yes. the story going. I think you might realize something from that. 
maybe Anna didn't really like what she saw in the first 15 pages. I know you don't Possibly. like robot slaughter, so yeah, probably not. It is a robot read slaughter. Target 2006. You own Target 2006. Just read it. It's good. I do. I do. I have a paper copy. It's great. Yeah, it's really good. One of Plus, I know how much you love Magnus. It's, a, it's a good Magnus story. So I oh, think yeah. what we need to do is is we need to reconvene. We need to have Dakota back on the show. We need to have yeah. Yeah. and then and then we can have Anna shit on Wreckers and, and on on all this other stuff at the same time saying that the new comic is good just to watch Dakota's head explode. It's a genre thing. I'm telling you, it's a genre <laughs> thing. The new comic feels like a different genre so far from what I've read, which is up to issue five or six. Um, it feels like more of a murder or um, not murder mystery drama thing. And I like that more than action slaughter festivals. My bad, everyone. I don't hate your precious comics. I just don't like them as much. I like the mystery comics when uh, Spotlight Nightbeat was a thing and then they continued that story later. That was good. So sorry about my call. So, so to circle back as far as the figures. Uh, yeah, sure. Yay! You, uh, we're here. We uh, are you? Are we saying recommend on uh, this mold, whichever one you want? If I could only okay, so let's say that all my other toys melted of Ratchet and Ironhide, and I can only have one version. And it doesn't get to be a taxi, and that's super sad that I would definitely get my Ratchet or Ironhide in this mold. Because I think it is really super cool representation of the character. That is supposed to be a positive recommendation, even though I talked about toys melting spontaneously, which is kind of scary. Yeah, I, I would say that this is probably two of the better Ratchet Ironhides that we've gotten. I, I don't know what it is, why there's certain characters like Springer, that are just, um, you know, amazing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this like an insane? <laughs> what? Okay, so there's certain characters where you get them, uh, lots of really great versions of it. <laughs> and then they're like, <laughs> Are we just going to set you off every time we say Springer? <laughs> okay. And no one does even know what the hell is going on. They're like, why are you laughing? Just leave it. Leave it. It's an we just all three started cracking up. That's normal. That's what we do. <laughs> they're, they're like, is there some so inside about- joke? There's some... It's like, refer, refer back to you know, some other show where you're like, what the hell is going on? Yes, refer back to our our review of the Siege Sprayer, and then watch Christian's face, and you'll understand the inside joke. There you go. All right. (laughs) Okay, so so I guess uh, guess that's it then, right? (coughs) So join us tomorrow night. Uh, Tomorrow night we're going to be doing a, a live unboxing of MP44, I think. Or something. I don't know. We're gonna be talking about it. I know Paul and uh, Rob both have MP44, and I don't know if anybody else is gonna have it or not. But and I'm gonna come in halfway through the show with my magic square light of freedom and just be like, "Bam! This is better, you guys!" And then disappear. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's sunshine, Dad. Not sunshine, son. Yep. I like something like that. So. I personally think it looks cooler than a P44. My drop disappear. Damn. <laughs> there you go. All right. And with that, we're gone. So have a good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. I hope you had fun because we apparently did. <laughs>